The White House says they're moving past what's called the acute emergency phase of the COVID-19 pandemic. And soon the government could stop paying for COVID prevention and treatments. Steve Harrigan has the latest. If you haven't received your COVID vaccine or booster, now may be the time. The White House is planning to stop paying for COVID-19 shots and treatments, shifting more control of pricing and coverage to the healthcare industry. A spokesperson for the Department of Health and Human Services releasing a statement Thursday saying in part, quote, our goal is to transition these products in a way that maximizes continued access and availability to the American people and leaves us prepared for whatever might come next. This just days after the White House Coronavirus Response Coordinator announced updated vaccines will be available in the fall. The vaccines that are coming in a few short weeks are specifically designed for the virus that's out there. The move could ultimately mean higher costs for consumers because switching vaccine purchasing away from the federal government would put pricing negotiations with drug manufacturers in the hands of insurers and pharmacies, likely resulting in higher premiums and co-pays for Americans. The change could also mean billions of dollars in potential profits for drug makers. Last year, Pfizer and Moderna reported a combined $79 billion in global sales of COVID vaccines and treatments. More details of the shift will likely come at a meeting between government and industry leaders at the end of the month. In Atlanta, Steve Harrigan, Fox News.